It's what turned people toward wanting to protect this species and wanting to protect all whales in the ocean. Once people in the 60s and 70s heard that song on record albums, they started to fall in love with the intelligence of this animal. Humpback whales have one of the most diverse set of sounds that are made of any mammal. They produce feeding call sounds, songs, social sounds. There's even some evidence that they might use echolocation in the North Atlantic. It has a very discrete structure. It goes through a whole series of different um, ranges of sound and frequency and tone and timbre. Now these songs can be, well, they can be up to 18 minutes long, maybe a little longer, and they're always changing, always evolving. Well, the song is, you know, is constantly changing, and there are seasons here where it does change within the course of one season. And one of the studies that we're doing right now is comparing the songs that we collect here in Hawaii with the songs that are collected in Japan and the Philippines and Mexico at the same time. The song that everybody was singing on one breeding ground at the end of the previous breeding season is the song they start singing at the beginning of the next one. And once a song is accepted into the population, it spreads through the population. The pattern of the song change is from west to east. Sound travels incredibly fast underneath the water, in fact, five times faster than it does in air. They can project their sounds over hundreds, perhaps even thousands of miles. They have incredibly good hearing, so you can probably listen to lots of individuals at any one given time. Hydrophone is really important to the work that we do. Um, a hydrophone allows us to listen um, to what's going on underneath the surface of the water. It's the tool that we use to be able to listen and then record humpback whale songs here. We're uh, trying to record a, a male humpback whale singing its song. We think we've got a single animal. We don't know for sure it's male, but a lot of times when you have a single animal with a nice slow arching dive, the tail, the flute comes up nice and slow. That's suggestive of, again, a male humpback whale potentially singing. Oh, I can hear him. Yeah, can you hear him? Yeah. He's really loud. Oh, he's close. Sorry. Thinking about it. Oh, you can tell when he's actually yeah, coming he's, up. There he is. Oh my gosh, there he is right there. <laughs> Coming up, lunging. Lunging? Lunging. Oh, gosh. Oh, they travel a lot. Hold that right, brother. I can't Hold believe that right. was right by us. Wow. Seeing somebody hear a song for the first time and watching their face light up, watching their eyes go off, you know that you know, you're doing something pretty special.